The Queen's decision to cancel a trip today to Northern Ireland, having reluctantly accepted medical advice to rest for the next few days, should be a wake-up call for all of us and everyone around our great monarch. The Queen's schedule has been relentless for seven decades, and even at her advancing age, she simply doesn't want to stop working. In the past couple of weeks, she travelled to Scotland for the opening of their parliament, had engagements at the Welsh Senate and Cardiff, and continued a busy schedule in London, including hosting this major global investment summit at Windsor Castle last night. But as I write in my column for the Mail Online today, the Queen's time and energy could and should be reserved for the national and international events that really matter. I struggle to countenance a world where the Queen isn't the person to lead the nation and the world through a crisis. And for that reason, it's essential that we accept we will see her a little bit less over the next few years. Like a regal fine wine, she gets better with age. But leading politicians, the public, her family and her courtiers now have a collective responsibility to protect the Queen.